The Monteverdi Jewelria Mini is an easy pen to take apart and there isn't a whole lot of it to take apart. Unscrew the cap, unscrew the barrel. There is no converter in here, it's a small pin. Put that away and note that the nib and feet are friction fit. Now, what I'd like to talk about today, I mean, you've, you've seen me take apart a friction fit nib and feet before. What I want to talk about today is fins. You see there are little fins right under the section and as you can see they're a little bit bent well that is what can happen sorry I'm trying to zoom out there this is what can happen if you try to pull a nib and feed out from a pin like this because sometimes this is fairly pliable and soft plastic so here's a little tip I'd like to share with you instead of grabbing it like this which is what I usually recommend uh, you should do it in another way the problem with doing this is that you're actually pushing down on those little fins. Some people call them gills, it's about the same thing. Eh? So a little tip that you can use is just grab the section like this and then instead of grabbing it like this you actually grab the nib and feet from the side like that. So this way instead of that way, this way. Now if you combine that, combine that with a little bit of grippy material just wrap it around, you take the side then it should be fairly easy to at least get the nib out. Once that is out, you grab the section in the same way from the side and you pull it out. Nothing is squished there. It's just the sides that you were holding and they can take a bit more pressure than the underside can. You clean the nib and feed, you align them roughly align the shoulders of the nib to the shoulders of the feed take a little bit of that grippy material out there there we go then slide it back in that is uh, one specific way to do it as you can see uh, maybe can see I'm not sure the underside let me see if I still got that light here so I do as you may be able to see the underside there is completely flat that is where the underside of the feed goes so make sure you got that alignment proper. If you don't do it that way, it should be very hard to get anything in, so you'll feel it yourself. Make sure you got it in roughly the right way. Like this. Then again, grab those sides. Careful, of course, not to bend the nib, so make sure your grippy material is a bit away from the actual nib tipping. And just push the two of them in. Now as you can see alignment here is not perfect yet so I would probably take that out. Slide the nib in there again. It's looking a bit better. Carefully rotate a bit. Screw the section back into the barrel. Cap the pen, sit back and have yourself some haggis. <laughs> 